Hello my dear friends, in this video, I'm gonna spill the beans on something you've never even imagined. Because this video is all about chapter 184 and the Hero Association's epic downfall. The previous chapter of One Punch Man revealed the true colors of the Hero Association, proving that our hero hunter Garo was right all along. It turns out due to a lack of security, two great individuals were able to hack into their system, a genius from Fubuki's team and our S-Class hero Child Emperor. These two clever chaps discovered that the Hero Association was capturing monsters and selling them off for a handsome profit. While our evil Fubuki-chan decided to lend a helping hand to the Hero Association, Child Emperor's reaction wasn't exactly friendly. I'm not sure, but it's possible that Child Emperor might play a big role in the creation of the Neo Association. Anyway, whether or not Child Emperor helps build the Neo Association, the Tasatama incident is surely gonna be the nail in the coffin for the Hero Association. Cause all the demon level monsters that the association was keeping for sale were wiped out by Saitama, which will causing them massive losses. And some of the heroes even started doubting the association for keeping such dangerous things close to them. So, it's possible that these financial problems and the Tasatama incident might cause many heroes to leave the Hero Association and join the Neo Association. Anyway, the next chapter of One Punch Man could be about a Mai Mosque's backstory and true identity. Because in the webcomic, the Neo Hero arc started with a Mai Mask and he was the first person whom the Hero Association lost. After that, Silver Fang, King, Zombie Man, Metal Knight, and even Genos decided to leave the Hero Association. But after hearing some motivating words from Saitama, Genos decided to stay in the Hero Association with him. But since the first chapter of the manga was unique and different from the webcomic, it's possible that the Neo Hero arc will have some differences too. Well, I'm really curious about a Mai Mosque's backstory. Because it was a mind-blowing story that wiped out all the negative thoughts I had about him. Well, I can't wait to see his fight against that dragon-level monster, and I'm also dying to know what his monster form will look like. As we know Murata's monster drawing skills are amazing, so I'm sure a Mai Mosque's monster form will be on a whole other level. I have so many things I want to share with you about a Mai Mask that I'm going to make a video about him and his appearance in the manga. So, if you want to watch it, just hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon. But in short, Sweet Mask ain't what you think he is, but he's definitely not what you expected either. I mean, most of you guys know he's actually a monster, even Du S said that Sweet Mask is not a human, but I'm also sure that most of you don't know about his past and his journey to becoming a hero which I'll explain in that video, and I'll also reveal why he behaves the way he does towards others. So, don't forget to subscribe and keep me motivated. Oh sorry, I almost forgot to ask you a question, is God alone in One Punch Man? If you have any answer please comment me in comment section because I have a crazy theory about this. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.